Hi everyone. So I thought I'd share some of me working on one of my projects right now. There's people that enjoy hearing me talk about what I'm doing and seeing me work. So I thought I'd explain some of this. What I'm making is known as a top plate. The overall goal is to be able to insulate the shed, which is the white building to the right of the screen, with insulation that's 2 by 6 instead of 2 by 4 insulation. Why this is, is sort of two or three key reasons. Part of it is that the shed is all external walls, meaning it's going to have heat loss more easily than a home. So sealing the building up well will help me save money in the long term. And then with my aspiration of self-employment, the long-term savings in money is worth it. Although it's a decent amount of effort up front to do this. So what I'm doing in this video is first applying construction adhesive and then screwing the boards together with three inch screws every eight inches on top and bottom. I've got my pair of saw horses out and you'll see that these line up quite well with the wheelchair for a work surface. So the only thing that you really need to consider is and be willing to accept life's going to be a little bit slower paced than if it was someone that didn't have physical challenges doing this. The trade-off though is the satisfaction of seeing progress. So I really I really enjoy this type of thing and you're going to see me throughout the video using my tape measure and pencil to measure and mark. I like tension to detail type of projects. I spent my good hours on Tuesday putting these together. Now I do need to point out that Wednesday was a rest and recovery day, but it was good. You know, the creative part is what helps me coexist with the chronic pain I experience. And I expect people will develop their own strategies, but this is really what works for me. And I expect there's a few others that have the same type of experience and find satisfaction in life. I want to point out that I'm using a cordless drill. And... You know, I have used a corded drill in the past with my power wheelchair, but I'm forever getting the cord tangled up in the wheels and getting it stuck. So the cordless drill works really well. And then you'll see that I often hang the caulking gun off of my sawhorse. So the caulking gun has construction adhesive, a type of glue in it. And you get a really good rate for the amount of materials with it dispensed in the caulking gun. It's an efficient way to do things if you're in a construction mindset. So what I'm talking about or why I'm bringing this up is thinking about what tools you use, how you'll use them, and if it works or if you should be doing something better. So I've got it set up sort of my workspace where the caulking gun hangs off there. The clamp is like an extra pair of hands that compensate for the challenges with my legs. And then it's just a matter of going slowly, measuring and being satisfied with each little bit. And you'll see that I've also got my safety goggles on so I don't get myself in the eye, either with a screw or something comes flying off there by accident. And I've got my next few boards sort of staged to the far side of the sawhorses. And I just kept on puttering along as I was going through the day. And, you know, when I needed a break, I went in the house and, you know, got a drink of water. You know, or I've got a lift chair in the house that I sit on that's comfortable for me. You know, I just sort of went at a casual pace. You know, I know that if 
if I hired somebody, the work would be done much faster. So there's a trade-off in doing what I can myself on my good days and then being willing to accept help on the days when I'm needing it. So this just happened to have worked out today and I'm really glad that I tried. With the heavier piece of wood, uh, one of my friends is going to carry them into the shed for me so I don't have to do that and stress my legs. There's a planning part of this that I haven't really touched on yet in this video. And that's just thinking ahead through what the steps are likely to be like, finding contingency plans for these, and then adjusting on whatever happens in reality. Anyway, I just wanted to share some of this video of me working. This really is my happy space. I enjoy using my hands immensely and then seeing what I've created and using it for whatever the reason why I was heading out on a particular project. Okay, hope everyone's doing well today. Take care. Bye for now.